Your Excellency, may I also extend a warm welcome to those who have joined us uh, in this uh, my board, the candidates' board. history, the census shall feature a detailed focus on data of the disadvantaged members of the society, such as persons living with disabilities, the orphaned and vulnerable children, the elderly, and street families. Our constitution is emphatic that the fruits of progress must be accessible to all without discrimination. Accordingly, the census data will be utilized in planning to ensure that all Kenyans will access opportunities in an equitable manner. For this year's census, we will be applying a new and more comprehensive data gathering module, a more comprehensive data gathering module than those of previous exercises. The module ensures that we have the statistical information needed to breathe life into key constitutional provisions on equity and the promotion of interests of marginalized and disadvantaged groups. In keeping with our two-tier governance structure, the planning and delivery of the census exercise is based on the 47 county census committees with national oversight to ensure uniformity of standards. The county committees have been mandated to deliver on all aspects of census planning, preparation, and delivery, including the recruitment of enumerators. In total, a team of 2,467 ICT supervisors 22,268 content supervisors and 138,572 enumerators will be deployed across the entire country. I would, ladies and gentlemen, at this time, take this opportunity to urge all persons and households in Kenya to be ready from the night of the 24th of August 2019 to welcome enumerators to their homes. Enumerators have been recruited from the locality in which they will be working and as such they will be familiar with and to many of the families that they will be visiting. The government, through the Ministry of Interior and National Government, has taken all necessary steps to ensure that the census will take place seamlessly and in a safe environment and with minimal disruption to the ordinary activities of Kenyans. All enumerators will be accompanied by uniformed security officers and may also be accompanied by community elders and leaders of residence associations depending on the area. We have also put in place special measures to ensure that pastoralists, staff in essential services and emergency service sector, and persons who support our international travel and airlines are enumerated. Further, 
to ensure maximum enumeration during the first two days of the census, we have said that we shall work overtime to ensure that most are counted on that day. In addition, the opening of all educational institutions has been rescheduled from the 26th of August to the 2nd of September so that movement of persons is minimized during the census period. I urge all individuals, employers, and institutions in government to assist in Kenya, to assist the government in delivering a successful census by making sure that middle and long distance travel is limited to persons who have already been enumerated. I also urge all our political leaders, religious leaders, the business community, the media, civil society, to use their platforms to encourage all persons and households within their spheres to, co to cooperate fully to ensure this important national exercise is a success. Ladies and gentlemen, as I conclude, I wish to reiterate the importance of the 2019 National Population and Housing Census to the development agenda of our nation. For us to achieve our vision of a brighter future for all our people, our country must have comprehensive and accurate data for the proper planning and monitoring of development programs. It is therefore the patriotic duty of each and every one of us to do all that is required to support this once in a decade exercise. With these few remarks, the official countdown to the 2019 National Population and Housing Census begins. May God bless you all and may God continue to bless and guide Kenya.